through. So this will be later tonight, so nothing to worry about during the daytime hours. But here's the severe outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. That yellow area, and if you look down towards the very bottom of your screen, that there's an orange sliver there. That's an enhanced risk. The yellow area is a slight risk, and then we get into a marginal risk there. So it goes from 3 out of 5 to 2 out of 5 to a 1 out of 5 risk, that being the less severe in the metro is in that risk there. So let's time it out with Storm Predictor. We'll have clouds through the middle parts of the day. There's a slight chance of a shower around 5 p.m., but we still have dry air towards the surface. So there's a good chance that probably won't happen. But if we look down south, Beatrice through Fall City and Maryville, that's where we see the more severe storms start to lift northward with a warm front, or at least they initiate on that warm front down south. And then they're in the metro by around midnight tonight, and they don't look as severe at that moment. The severity kind of ends up in northwestern Missouri and southern Iowa, and it'll keep pushing eastward at that point. But we do see some wraparound showers as that low pro progresses to the east around 6 a.m. We could still have the potential for a storm to roll through, and that lasts about till lunchtime for tomorrow. So hopefully we get a good soaking of rain from that because we sure need it. Here's a look outside. We're looking off to the west from our Lewis and Clark Monument Skycam. That's downtown. 60 degrees outside, and we have those calm winds. We haven't been able to say that recently. We had them yesterday. But all the days prior, not so much. Here's 60 in Omaha, 63 for Plattsmouth. Red Oak at 61, Harlan at 63, Beatrice at 62 degrees. And radar and satellite showing us some clouds hanging overhead. We'll have more come during the afternoon and evening hours. And you can see that here on our 12-hour forecast by 8 o'clock, 20% chance. 10 o'clock, more of a 60% chance as those stronger storms start to build north. Low temperatures tonight, we're going to stay you know, relatively warm for uh, a winter day. 48 degrees for Omaha. We could get a little lower than that, depending on how many clouds hang with us overnight, which looks like to be a lot. 55 for a high tomorrow, so the rain will cool us off a little bit as we get closer towards tomorrow. There's the overnight storms. That's where the impacts come in, lingering into Thursday. Friday, 56, the weekend, looking a lot more windy with temperatures hanging up in the 50s. By Sunday, we're at 45, and then we cool off a little bit starting next week, but then we just warm right back up once we get to the middle parts of next week.